Hey there, thanks for installing Hoopboard's WordPress plugin. This is a short video to show you how to get it up and running on your WordPress site. After you install the Hoopboard plugin, you'll find uh, Hoopboard over here in the side menu on your WordPress page. And the first step that you have to complete is you have to go ahead and create a Hoopboard at uh, Hoopboard.com. So you can go ahead and click on Create One. And then once you're here, you can complete the Create Board process and then uh, sign up for an account. So now that your board is created, you can go ahead and navigate to it uh, by finding it under My Boards. And I'm already on the Admin Support Hoopboard. So once you're here, what you have to do is you can grab the link of the board. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this link. And uh, I'm on the Show All view. So this is going to show all the posts that are on my board. If uh, you wanted to uh, show only a certain collection, when the board loads on your WordPress site. So say I only wanted to show all the hoots that were tagged with FAQ when someone loads up my website. Uh, you can go ahead and copy and paste the URL from this uh, link as well. So it's the same board right here, but it has the FAQ at the end and then you can copy and paste that into the WordPress plugin. Uh, so I already have the, the link for my board, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste it in here. And then uh, after you hit apply, you can now uh, customize your hoop board to the look and feel of your site. So uh, if you wanted to make it blend in with uh, your background or add some color to it. So uh, I've already selected some color for my background right here. And, and I've also made my transparency uh, at the lowest setting. So it'll actually blend in with the background of my website. And I've gone ahead and changed some of the other areas, the title area background, the title text and join board button. And what those do is it uh, will change the text color that's up here in this ribbon, as well as the background and the button color that's over here. So uh, now that I've gone ahead and changed my settings, the last step is to go ahead and click Finish. And now that I've done that, uh, you can see that this is the embedded board. Uh, and I've already I've made this board blend in with the background of our About page. But you can see that the hoop board is completely embedded on the site. And uh, once it's embedded, you can pretty much do anything uh, uh, with your hoop board. So uh, that's how you get your uh, board up and running. Once it's installed, you can add it to the menus by going back to your WordPress plugin and then adding it to the menu. Or you can also uh, find it underneath pages and then you can customize it a little bit more there. Uh, one um, kind of best practice is when you do embed your hoop board on your website, uh, you should try making it full width so you can see uh, this board right here is full width so you get the maximum of coverage for your board on the website. So that's a little bit about how to uh, use the Hoopboard WordPress plugin. If you have any questions, uh, please contact us at support at hoopboard.uservoice.com. Thanks.